Hello, and welcome to Tea Time with Torloff. I'm Torloff. Here's the tea. I don't have a clock anywhere, so I can't point at time. It seems to me that there was a lot of people out there that loved Nintendo hardware and grew up with them. I had a Game Boy. However, a lot of my console gaming was done on Sega hardware. I do have some fond memories, though, of playing NES and Super Nintendo. Like when my youngest brother was born. Everyone was in and out of the house, and my uncle was looking out for me. He brought his NES with him. And I remember vividly playing Mario 3 for what felt like hours. I don't remember anyone else being in the house, but honestly I was six. My memory's pretty fuzzy. Going back to play Mario 3 for this video, I realized how short the levels are in it and how bad I am at the game. Um, I remember my cousin, who was almost double my age, had a Nintendo as everyone called it back in the day, the Nintendo. I like Famicom better, but I don't think anyone would have got it here, so. I also remember going with him to go see the Super Mario Bros. movie in theater. Okay, it wasn't terrible. But then again, I was really young. And the movie was entertaining. Again, with games and movies, if you like it, you just had fun. That's more than enough reason to like it. But I also like the Mash of the Universe movie. And... What the hell am I doing? We're supposed to be talking about Mario here. And I'm getting sidetracked. So the first Mario game I'd owned that was mine was Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. And I had a few Game Boy games. And I bored a bunch of my brother because he had a lot. But I didn't play Pokemon until I was 16. But that is for a very later pot of tea. My first Nintendo home console, though, was the GameCube. It's a black one, I think we have. Yeah, it's a black one. Even though my brother wanted the purple one. Purple GameCubes are dope. Can we have a purple Switch? Nintendo? Can we bring me up the purple aesthetic? Like, I know I have this wicked Splatoon 2 Pro Controller, and my Switch has got the the same sort of a very dirty screen. Oh no, you can see the script! I must turn this. Yeah, look at the light. Done it. I like Splatoon, okay? We didn't guess. Uh, where are the squidlings? Oh, you can't see them from here. You still can't see them. And they're in the shell. The squidlings, that's totally what they're called. No, they're inklings. Look, I'm not. I'm an adult. I'm an adult, but I'm not stupid. I played Splatoon, okay? So, anyway, what was I talking about? The GameCube. Purple. Being dope. I right, said, so my brother one those. Orange Spice. I hit an orange uh, controller. Okay, GameCube. Let's do the GameCube part again. My first home console was the GameCube. And this would induce my next meeting with the popular plumber. It was on loan from a friend of mine with Super Mario Sunshine. And don't skewer me because I wasn't a fan. I haven't played it since. I've never played it since, actually. So uh, I might try and track down a copy or hope there's like a re-release or something that I can play it on something that isn't a GameCube so I could record it. Because I don't really set up for SD recording. I was not a fan. But you have to realize that a lot of the games I played on uh, GameCube were more graphic, adult themed, and or not platformers. Didn't have any platforming in them. So it was a lot of skills I just didn't have, and I was not. But I was also like an edgy teen at that time, so. Ugh, can't play Mario. I'm just too rad. My hair was a lot longer back then, too. Moving on. Um, 
When I got my uh, DS, though, I bought it day one, I pre-ordered it. I did buy Mario 64 DS. And I played a good chunk of it. I don't have any strong memories either way. But my friend, who will not be named, but if he watches this, he'll know who he is. Beat the save, beat my save, like it's like it's all stars done. On lunch times it in high school, so I probably played like the first third or so of the game, and he just beat it. I didn't really care. I just need a game to play on it. Yeah, I remember uh, how hard it was to get a Wii, and how it was months later where I finally got one. I bought Red Steel with it. And now uh, what was the other game? Oh, Twilight Princess. Ah, uh, Twilight Princess. I'll do Legend of Zelda later, guys. Don't you worry. I love Legend of Zelda. But it might shock you on which ones I've actually played to completion or not. Moving on. Uh, talking about the Wii. Yeah, I never owned any of the Mario games for Wii. <laughs> Never. Not, not a single one. Um, except for Mario Kart, I guess. Does that count? Does Mario Kart count? But uh, when I bought the Wii U, God, how many years later? I did end up getting uh, Mario 3D World when it came out. That is such a fun game. It's a fun game. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing another Mario game kind of like it with up to four players on that sort of isometric kind of weirdness. I think it's a good game. And Catsuit Mario. You can play Peach. I always play Peach. I like Peach best. Of the ones they had playable. Though I know you might like look back here and see this Japanese amiibo chilling there in a the box. Love Rosalina's design. Never played Super Mario Galaxy. Play her all the time in Mario Kart. Smash? Played her all the time. Never played Mario Galaxy. I know I'm bad. She's a great design. But Mario's got... But not even Mario. Just Nintendo in general has great design. But we're not talking about these characters. We're talking about Mario. I did my best Mario impersonation. But the Switch. Mario Odyssey. This game... This game was amazing. Nothing gets me more pumped than listening to Jump Up Superstar. This is probably my favorite uh, 3D Mario game I've ever played in my life. It was fun to just, you know, <laughs> run around and find things. Just do fun things in a game. Who knew that was possible? And it was fun because I played it almost exclusively with my mother watching. She absolutely adored the game. She loved all the stupid characters you could get. Uh, she laughed really hard at the um, the part with <laughs> right at the beginning where uh, I'll put it on screen where Mario captures the becomes one with the the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. It's my favorite. It's Mario's voice ribbiting. She loved all those costumes and would kind of pester me, be like, well. It's cold. Get him a parka or something. You can get him a parka, right? Or coat. Get this man something warm to wear. She just had a lot of comments about Bowser and his uh, obsessive need to try and marry the princess. I'm getting like to the end of this. Do you know how I'm like, I've like drained this whole pot. There's like a little tiny bit left in here. But anyway, what was your first experience with the popular plumber protagonist? And which was your favorite in the series? You can leave a comment below. I'm almost out of tea. So, until next time, where I will drink more tea and talk about more games. This time, Sega games. Matane!